Hello fellow Dratini Hunters, um, we're back with another episode of Fallout 4, um, part 5 if I'm not mistaken. And we're just having a quick look around General City, we haven't really done much apart from Fight Concord. Um, if you watch part 4, I do apologise um, about it cutting out a bit too soon, I didn't realise that my mobile can only record for about 22 minutes and then it turns itself off without warning me. So not cool. So, you didn't miss much, Mama Murphy, the gypsy lady, was just ranting on and raving on about things and stuff. Uh, HQ still standing, nothing to report there. We've got a couple of objectives to deal with. Uh, da -da. But we've sorted out our equipment, to be honest with you, so we're all good there. We need to go and find the Preston, current commander of the Minutemen. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. They may be having a few issues penetrating my fortress. Ah, hello. Yep. Well, at least you're keeping the supply lines to that place I can see from here. And you're moaning about corns. Or calluses. Ah, Preston, good man. Let's see what you've got to say. Hi. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's home for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? This is my fucking base, that's what I fucking think. Look at it. Built that, built this, built that, built that. What have you built? Huh? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to, but how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. It looks good because I just fucking built it, mate. This isn't a home. Not for you. It's, it's mine. But an empty ruin. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there. What? You see the walls? Shelters. Hell, maybe even electricity. We've already got electricity. Why do we need more? We have guard posts. I've already built them and got people established already. You can't just join my group out of nowhere. It's a nice vision, but I don't see how it's possible. I never said it was going to be easy, but it is possible. It's not I possible. Come together to build a better world. Oh, I don't need anyone. I've built a better world. Before it all fell apart. Anyway, I am glad you're here. It fell apart because of shit like this. People moving in on a fucking now. It's not saying shit. Trying to build a fucking civilization. I hope you don't mind. I do. But I've got another favor to ask. Oh, great. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Doing what? Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? What are you doing right now that's so so busy i've built the defenses i've made the water there's plenty of beds there's plenty of food what are you possibly doing apart from sticking your thumb up your ass and claiming shit that ain't yours what kind of help do they need sounded like the usual raiders you'll have to get all the details when you talk to them i'd be glad to help that's fantastic the minute me to use more people like you by the way if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. Really? I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help. Oh, I'm salty now, Preston. If I want to help around at any point, I talk to your man. Really? Really? Ah. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, it looks like we've got a couple of new settlers. Um... Uh, I'm happy to have them, but from a player point of view, or a character's point of view, the fuck? Anyway, let's see if we can't make ourselves just... He's not even here yet. He's miles away. Um, nothing to harvest. You're doing that. Let's have a quick look on here and just make sure he isn't miles away. First step. Talk to her. No, you're telling me to go there. We want to talk to Sturgis, wherever he is. Yeah. See what he wants us to do. I've got a sneaky feeling. We've already done it. Sturgis. 
get the fuck out of my mattress and get to work. Oh, take your time. Take your time. You're only a guest you here. Do some work. Huh? What the fuck is this? You're in the fucking third degree from everybody. I love work. I could sit and watch it all day. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Do I look like a carpenter to you? I don't know what you look like. You said you were willing to help. Making beds is what we need help with. Why do you need my help to build beds? Look, we got a lot on our plate. And we've been on the run for weeks. We need food, water, shelter, you name it. Well, you asked how you could help. I told you. Did you mean it or not? I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need it. Well, help. that didn't help. Should have put myself on do not disturb. Sturgis, you have a moment? I like I wanted to thank you. Having a place to sleep will improve couple. everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'll do that. Clean water coming up. I'm on it. Great. Thanks again. Hey, Sturgis. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already. I did it already. We have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Yep. Good deal. Let's do this. I want to trade a few things. Give me all your shit. Just find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. Ah, oh, I see. Um, we've got the food. We haven't got the people working it, I don't believe. For some strange reason. Even though we should have. What happened to Farmer Settler? Where did he go? There we go, it's going up, going up, going up. Is it enough? Is he going to be enough? Yep. So, we'll go back to Sturgis. I just want to trade a few things. No, we want to talk to Sturgis. Get out of bed. You think you, you get to work. You talk to me, because we want to get this shit done and go looking around for things. I'm busy. Ready? I just need to trade gear with you. I need to trade. My old man taught me that duct tape could fix anything. I don't think he was talking about bullet holes. Oh, come on. Really? Why is no one automatically just assigning themselves to this? This is stupid. I think you're building. I just don't know where anyone is. Ah, oh, good. Marcy, me and you. You can help somewhere, I'm sure. Come on, really? 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 All the time, right. Okay. Resources, food. Sorry about this, guys, but this is just getting more and more long winded as we go. Please be enough. For oh, come on. So we're not going to be able to squeeze this out, we're not going to be able to get this done. So what we are going to be able to do is sprint the hell out of here. I'm going for a walk. We're going to go out for a bit. People can hold down the fort for us. And we're just going to go for a sprint. We hit a level up, but we're probably going to save the point for now because I want to have a quick look through the tech tree off camera, have a look what we can get. Oh, the skill tree, however you want to pronounce it really. We're gonna have a light little jog around. Alright. Why well, can't we get into the pit boy? I can't get into the pit boy. Interesting. No, I can. So we're gonna have a quick explore. We're gonna head to this little crossroad here and see how much of a chore that is to do. The dog should be with us somewhere down the line, or maybe not. There's a provisioner that walks so far every day, just down the road. And he has to cry about it. So we're going to head to our little waypoint. We can already see that there's kind of something over here. We're just going to be careful that we don't get eaten by monsters. Quick scout, see if there's anything lying around the floor of this basin. 
a pretend door. I'm not even going to attempt to pretend that that works. Oh, this is exactly what we kind of want to find, to be honest with you. We wanted to come across this place pretty early um, because it has a large source of potatoes, which means we can pick up what it's got. Oh, it also has a large source of watermelons around this side. Chem station. Um, we can pick up a side mission while we're here as well, which will eventually give us access to build here. Uh, that's something I want to do and get early because it's something I can do a lot of off screen on which means I actually get to play the game rather than waiting to the point where I have to wait for a bee to make a video so we just took all the melons from the back part of the farm we're gonna quickly raid all these potatoes because these are pretty much the bread and butter of how I make most of my caps on this game and we're gonna need to save up for some late, gateway, uh, late game weaponry uh, which is really expensive. Oh, we only just discovered Abernathy. Well, we're at Abernathy Farm. If anyone was wondering, this is Abernathy. We've even got a Brahmin here. Uh, I don't know if you can breed them. I don't know if you can make any more. I'm pretty sure you can find more. And we have a kitty cat. Little kitty cat, cat, cat. But we're gonna shoot. No, we're not. Because we're not psychos. And if we come in here, eventually we can steal all this. Or raid all this. This is another thing we wanted while we were here. Hey there. Well, if you've got anything worth trading, talk to me. A trader. Someone that we can do a lot of off-screen stuff with because we still need to go back to Concord and raid Concord. Not interested. Go you know away. You change your mind. Leave me alone. Uh, Lucy Abernathy. Um, obviously, you get the Abernathys when you uh, eventually take control of this settlement, but we need to talk to... Old man Abernathy, wherever he is. Maybe he's at the back of here. Maybe he's upstairs. Maybe he's absolutely nowhere because ah, he is at the back of here. That's close enough. Hello, Blake. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Good. I've taken all your food. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're around here. So don't try anything. So am I. I, tell you, I have weapons on my hockey. Easy. Out in the field all day, every day. Every minute of it spent watching your back. You call this a farm? Pathetic. Yeah, no, I think you best be moving on. <clears throat> Look, we're simple farmers. He did all that. We just want to be left alone. These raiders keep stealing from us. It's got to stop, or we'll have to pull up sticks. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. Wow. Not much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it would have been a lot to us. Do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. Nice. Excuse me. So he's just giving us the map location. Um, usually, if you ask people on this game where something is, they normally mark it on your map for you. So we've not really got anything on that nearby. So we're just going to keep heading in this general direction. I don't really want to sprint all that much in case we walk into something that we don't want to be fighting, but we need the vats to use. Maybe we find something else while we're out here. We got time to look around. Oh, we've lost range of one of our recruitment beacons. Anything on the, uh, nope. Absolutely nothing. So far so good. I'm more inclined to not want to go into a battle than I am to want to get into a battle. I'd rather just have a look around and not get killed. So we've made it to our destination. Which is pretty much nowhere. But there seems to be something over here. And we've still not got the dog with us. We should have the dog following us, but... Oh, no, not the dog. Just the tree stump. So I don't know where the dog's at. The dog's got a full inventory of items. Oh! Shitty move. 
I don't care. Oh god. Oh god. In the face. In his head. Blow his head off. Get him. Her head off. The other guy's coming for me now. He's above me. Might have made his way down the ramp. If not, he's still coming for me one way or another. Where is he? Oh my god. Two raiders is a, a, like literally a death sentence near enough. Because two hits from even a basic raider is more than enough to wipe you out. So you gotta love that. Luckily there's a place to sleep here, which means I shouldn't really use those stims because we can just do this. And heal again. Oh no, never mind, it doesn't work like that. Oh god, it doesn't work like that. I've just wasted my stims instead. Lesson well learned, we won't forget about that. So it seems pretty, pretty clear that we're all good now. I'm pretty happy. I've not really ever come across this place before, in all honesty. Well, this is ours now. At the very least, we have conquered a random non-location and we're gonna sit down on this patio chair and enjoy the fact that we have taken over a nice little crib for ourselves. Enjoy the view, we've got a bridge over there. The yellow car in the left corner. Long bridge, there is something interesting over there that I might go and investigate in the next video. I might not, I might just go home and build. Now we have a trader, we've got a random outpost over here that we're gonna go and check out, probably, maybe not, who knows, I don't know. Wherever the videos take us, I'll do a lot off screen, more on screen. That's about it really, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the camera doesn't really work very well when sat in a chair, I'm afraid. So, that's all we've got today. There's a red van behind us, there's a dead body there, and... We'll wait for part six, I'm afraid. We'll be out very soon, as soon as I can get it. Thank you for watching, goodbye.